Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So uh, today we are going to see PL SQL dynamic content. How to create PL SQL dynamic content region and what are the flexi flexibility we get here and how we can use this. Okay, so this is very powerful uh, uh, way of you know uh, giving output or getting output. Uh, from a table using PL SQL dynamic content. Okay, for that what we are going to do We are going to take an example of any table. Let me open object browser and see what tables we have So let's say if I'll take example of employee table Let me quickly copy this and what I'll do. I'll open SQL commands and Here we'll see what we can do with uh, you know dynamic content uh, Okay, let me a little bit. Yeah so I'll just write that uh, I'll, I'll do select star from that table. Okay, employee table. We'll try to run this and we'll see how many data we have. So we have these many data from employee table. Okay. Uh, so let's say I want first name, last name, email address uh, from from this employee table using PL SQL dynamic content. So for that, let's come to this page and let's go to the back end of this page. Let's create a body right click and create region. I'll, I'll say that employees and here a static content you can see. So now uh, you can select uh, PLC equal dynamic content over here and uh, you can see you can write the PLC equal code now. So let me expand this and here what you can do you can write your PLC equal proper PLC equal code actually. So if I say de declare uh, let's declare a variable called uh, v, vf name and I'll just give a data type as varsha to 100. Create another variable as v uh, last name as l name. Uh, this is also varsha to type size I'll give 100. Okay, now create a begin block begin and then end okay here what i'll do i'll do select star from the table what table we have we have this table let me copy this and paste it here so instead of star what we will do we will say first name comma last name let me copy these two columns copy uh, i'll remove this star and then paste these two columns so select first name comma last name from employees where uh, just choose the employee ID or uh, let's say 207 I'll, I'll say so where uh, what's the column name employee ID copy this and paste it here equals 207 okay and here what I'll do uh, as we are use uh, writing PLC equal code so I'll, I'll make it uh, I'll, I'll write here as in two and I'll write these two variables v underscore risk f name is this comma v underscore l name is this okay so what we have done here we have uh, selected first name and second uh, first name and last name in these two variables from employee table where employee id 207 and now we can print this how we can print this we have this http dot p of v underscore f name control c and control v and I'll write one more http.p. Let me copy this as it is. And instead of first name, I'll do, I'll make it a last name, okay? Now let's validate this. So this got validated successfully. Uh, Some time you can see that a uh, lot of people used to write sys.http.p. So this is also correct. You can write like this as well. That's not an issue. Let me validate it again. It got validated successfully. Click on OK, save, and run. So as soon as you run this, you got the name, okay? And uh, you got the first name and last name. So here, what you have done, you have written like this, okay? So uh, because, uh, uh, yeah, so this is one way of writing this. Now, uh, I'll, I'll just, you know, use some concatenation over here. I'll do, uh, first sorry first name is give space and then concatenated with the variable 
and then I'll, I'll use a line break over here. So what I'll do, I'll, uh, we can use HTML code as well. So here, as you can see, I have written break. Okay. Now, similarly, what I'll do here, I'll, I'll write uh, last name is, okay. Last name is space concatenate this variable and that's all. Let's validate it. Successfully validated. Click on OK, save and run. So as you can see, you got this first name is Mark, last name is Zuckerberg. So you got the value like this, okay? So uh, now one more thing I just want to show you and that is uh, employee ID you have written 207. Even you can write a dynamic uh, employee ID as well. I mean, uh, the employee ID, whatever user will give that you can pass over here and then, uh, you know, accordingly fetch the data. So for that, what we can do, we can create a, a, an, uh, an item and here this item will be employee id i'll say emp id this is a text field i'll say it as employee id okay capital d i'll write subtype i will say search we have different type of subtype this i'll explain you some other time or you can try by yourself okay and uh, okay so we have this thing let's run and see how how it looks over here so you can you can see this employee name we got over here right now what i'll do uh, uh I'll, I'll create a button as well uh create button below and i'll say this button as search okay let's i'll, I'll say start new go no run it so here we have employee ID and then search. Okay. Now what I'll do, I'll so here I'm going to pass employee ID. So that employee ID's first name and last name will get uh, reflected over here. So for that, what we can do, we'll just copy this employee ID, copy, and go to employees table. And here what we'll do instead of employee ID from here, we'll pass employee ID from here. Validate. Okay and save and run uh, okay let me go to the code what happened line number six it's saying that there is some issue at line number six we'll go to line number six uh, this is line number six first name last name from employee with employee id equals this thing this is correct it looks good but what's the problem? Mm, yeah, it's getting validated successfully as well. So this should work. That's not an issue. Let me try and see. Error during this problem. Okay. Mm, saying line number six. I don't think any issue is there. Let me go back to this code again. Uh, okay, what I'll do, I'll just p employee ID. Yeah, this is fine. Terminate, save. Okay. Yeah, this is same. So that's why it didn't get saved. Uh, okay, let me pass this number again. When we are passing this number directly, let me comment it out save okay and run so things are fine but when we choose a uh, employee id as it is we'll validate run okay no data found oh it's saying no data found okay okay got it okay no problem just try to write an exception block here we'll see what is happening exception when no data found then uh, we'll pass you know some null value to these two variables okay let me delete this comma and I'll say 
Well, now hopefully this should work. Okay, and save, then run. Yeah, it worked. So we do not have any data over here. Now let's see any employee ID from the table. So we'll, let's pass this 100. We'll write 100 over here. Click on search. And we got Stephen King. We'll see. Okay, 100 is Stephen King. Let's pass 101. So now pass 101, click on search. And we, we, we got the correct information. Okay, let's clear this and then pass search it. It got clear. Yeah. So this is how you can use PLC for dynamic content. This is very useful when you are trying to find, you know, trying to build your own uh, dynamic content, PLC for content basically. And again, this this region is very flexible. You can write your PL, uh, HTML code as well. So let's say if you want to make it bold, you can make it bold as well. Uh, let's say if I, I'm, I'm writing like this. So here, what I'm doing, I'm making this. Uh, this entire string as a uh, bold string actually so that you can do as well so you can write your PL, uh, HTML code as well as you can add your CSS and everything in this PLC for content actually PLC for dynamic content yeah let me show you validate okay save and then run so now let's search by employee ID 100 click on search so we got so see uh, this, this is this is bold now so that's it for today uh, let me know if you have any issue or you have any, any other question that's uh, all thanks for watching the tutorial thank you